What if love is present, but unseen, misunderstood, but profound? Welcome to The Little Girl's Heartwarming Journey. In a world often masked by misconceptions and fear, we find our little protagonist, Kezia. She's a bundle of joy, a ray of sunshine in a world that seems a bit too grey for her liking. Her world is filled with the laughter of children, the comfort of her mother's embrace, and a longing, a longing for a love that seems to elude her. You see, Kezia's father is a figure of authority, a towering presence that is as intimidating as it is distant. His stern demeanor and strict ways create a gulf between him and his little girl. A gulf that Kezia yearns to bridge, but how does one bridge a gap that seems so wide, so deep? Kezia finds her answer in the form of her neighbor, Mr. MacDonald, a man whose kindness and warmth radiate through his every action. He's a beacon of love and joy, a stark contrast to the stern figure of her father. Kezia dreams of a world where her father could be more like Mr. MacDonald, a world where she could share the warmth and love she sees in her neighbor's family. It's a longing that tugs at her heart, a longing that grows with each passing day. In her desire to express her love to her father, Kezia crafts a pincushion. But in a twist of fate, she unknowingly tears apart her father's important speech to fill her gift. The consequence? A punishment that estranges her further from her father, leaving her heart sinking deeper into the abyss of loneliness. Her longing for her father's love intensifies, leaving her with a yearning that's as deep as the ocean. As Kezia grapples with her feelings, we're left with a poignant question. Will she ever find the love she so deeply desires? Kezia's heart sinks deeper into loneliness, her longing for her father's love intensifying. As Kezia's yearning deepens, she finds herself gazing upon the MacDonald family. In the quiet corners of her heart, Kezia harbors a longing for something more, something better. Her eyes, filled with innocence and hope, often wander towards the MacDonald family. There, she sees a picture of warmth and love that seems so distant, yet so desirable in her own life. She observes Mr. MacDonald, a man who, in her eyes, embodies the very essence of a loving father. With his friendly demeanor and playful nature, he seems like a character straight out of her bedtime stories. The kind of father she dreams of having. His laughter echoes through the neighborhood, a sound that Kezia wishes to hear from her own father. She watches as Mr. MacDonald plays with his children, their joyous laughter filling the air. Kezia imagines herself as part of this picture, yearning for the day when her father would toss her into the air and catch her with a laugh, just like Mr. MacDonald does with his children. She takes note of the tender glances Mr. MacDonald shares with his wife and children, the love evident in his eyes. It's a stark contrast to the stern and distant gaze of her father, and it leaves Kezia wondering if her father is capable of such warmth and affection. Kezia's heart aches with longing as she sees the MacDonald family sharing their love so freely. The contrast between their warmth and the coldness she perceives at home brings a sense of melancholy. She can't help but wish her father could be like Mr. MacDonald, kind, playful and loving. Yet despite her yearning, she clings to a glimmer of hope. Hope that one day she will uncover the warmth hidden behind her father's stern exterior. Hope that her father will show her the love she so desperately seeks. Kezia wonders if her father could ever be as warm and loving as Mr. MacDonald. But when the unexpected happens, the unseen becomes visible. Our story takes a sudden turn when Kezia's mother falls ill. The house, once filled with her mother's warmth and laughter, now echoes with silence and worry. Kezia is left alone, her only company, the shadows of her fears. Suddenly, the giant she had always perceived her father to be seems to shrink. His stern face softens, revealing a side of him Kezia had never seen before. His sternness gives way to a gentle kindness, a tenderness that had always been there, hidden behind his austere exterior. In the midst of the chaos of her mother's illness, Kezia's father steps up, taking on the role of both parents. He becomes her caretaker, her protector, her guide. He holds her hand when she is scared, 
wipes her tears when she cries and comforts her when she misses her mother. One night, as the shadows of her nightmare loom large, Gezia wakes up screaming, her heart pounding, her breath quickening, she is consumed by fear. Then, a comforting presence enters her room, her father. He sits by her bed, his voice a calming whisper against the harsh wails of her fear. He cradles her, his arms a safe haven from her nightmares. He sings her lullabies, his voice a soothing balm to her scared heart. His touch, his voice, his presence, it all brings her a comfort she had never associated with him. In the quiet of the night, Kezia finds herself nestled in her father's arms, her fears replaced by a newfound sense of safety. She sees her father in a new light, a beacon of love and comfort. Her misconceptions crumble, replaced by the realization of his deep, unspoken love for her. In the quiet of the night, her father's love shatters her misconceptions. The veil of misunderstanding lifts, revealing a love so profound, so pure, that it leaves Kesia in awe. And thus, amidst the unforeseen circumstances, Kezia discovers a love she had always yearned for in the heart of her own father. In the tenderness of a moment, Kezia discovers the love she had been yearning for. Our tale takes an unexpected turn as Kezia, a little girl filled with longing and apprehension, stumbles upon a heartwarming realization. The father she saw as a stern giant, distant and unloving, was not as she perceived. One night, as the moon painted silver strokes across the dark canvas of the sky, Kezia found herself alone. Her mother, her constant source of comfort, was away, taken ill. The house felt larger, scarier, but it was in this moment of vulnerability that Kezia discovered something extraordinary. Suddenly, the stern face of her father softened. His towering figure, once a symbol of fear, became a beacon of safety. He held her close, his comforting presence warding off the darkness that had once filled her nightmares. His tender voice, whispering soothing words, was a lullaby that lulled her into a peaceful sleep. Kezia's heart fluttered. Could this be the love she had been yearning for? The warmth she had seen in Mr. MacDonald, was it here all along, hidden beneath her father's stern exterior? As the dawn broke, Kezia looked at her father with new eyes. The stern giant was now a loving protector, his strict rules a shield against harm. She realized that love doesn't always come wrapped in smiles and laughter. Sometimes it hides behind stern faces and strict rules waiting to be discovered. Her heart swelled with newfound understanding. She no longer saw her father as a distant figure, but a loving parent who cared for her deeply. His love may not have been as visible as Mr. McDonald's, yet it was just as profound, just as powerful. Kezia's heart fills with warmth and understanding, a testament to her father's unseen love. It was a journey of self-discovery, a journey of love. This heartwarming tale of Kezia reminds us that love is often found where we least expect it, waiting to be discovered, waiting to be understood. In the little girl's heartwarming journey, we discover the unseen, the misunderstood, and the profound. We've traveled through the innocent heart of Kezia, a little girl caught in a web of misunderstanding and longing. Her journey, though marred by fear and loneliness, leads her to an unexpected treasure, the realization of her father's boundless love. This tale, as simple as it may seem, is layered with profound insights about love and understanding. It reminds us that love is often cloaked in various forms. Like Kezia's father, who appeared stern and distant, only to reveal a heart brimming with love for his little girl. We learn that love is not always expressed in the ways we expect or desire. It may hide behind a stern face, a strict demeanor, or a silent presence. But it is there, waiting to be discovered, understood, and cherished. Kezia's journey also sheds light on the power of perspective, how our perceptions can cloud our understanding, leading us to feel estranged and lonely. But when we open our hearts and minds, we can see beyond the surface to the true essence of those around us. The story teaches us that love is patient. It waits silently for us to uncover it. It doesn't impose itself, but allows us to come to it in our own time, in our own way. And when we do, 
It embraces us with warmth and tenderness, just like Casey's father did. So, as we wrap up the little girl's heartwarming journey, let's carry these insights with us. May they guide us in our relationships, helping us to see beyond the surface, to the love that lies beneath. Remember, love in its purest form is often found where we least expect it. Share your thoughts and join us on this journey of discovery. And remember, like Kezia, we all have the power to uncover the love that surrounds us, even in the most unexpected places.